collaborate. I would like to welcome my brother and his delegation once again and wish him the best of luck in his new tenure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. I want to first reiterate uh, again because um, people of uh, Turkey would be watching this. Uh, I want to say that uh, my grandfather's generation was what they did when Turkey was fight fighting its war of independence. The support, the, the funds raised in, then in India to support the Turkish uh, gallant uh, fighting for its freedom. Uh, it was passed down from generations from my grandfather to my father to us. Uh, and I still uh, know the pride they felt that Turkey was able to uh, fight for its independence in the 20s. So uh, the affiliation, the, the love, the connection between uh, Turkey and Pakistan has always been there. And uh, I want to stress that we want to take this relationship to a, high, a much higher level, a, a, a level that so far has not been reached. That's why I brought my economic team here, my finance minister, commerce, uh, overseas, uh, foreign minister, and, um, and planning minister. The reason why we... Yatırımcıları ve Pakistan'a hali hazırda yatırım yapmış olan insanlar. All the different investors, already people who've invested in Pakistan, prospective investors, potential investors, uh, and uh, we wanted to strengthen our bond with Turkey. Trade ties, not only just trade ties, but also in foreign relations, in our, in our various attitude to terrorism. Uh, the notes we exchanged about uh, the mutual problems we face of, uh, of uh, security threats to our countries. So um, we wanted to enhance ties in every sphere. So um, I'm very happy, my long meeting with uh, the president, that I go back knowing that uh, Pakistan and uh, Turkey will from now onwards move much closer. Uh, the areas where we discussed, as uh, Mr. President, you mentioned, the most important area for us is your experience in housing. We have a very ambitious plan to lift our economy by building five million houses in the next uh, five years. And we already know that uh, you have uh, construction companies here who have great experience in this. Uh, we, all, we know that in the last six, seven years, you have built over two million houses in Turkey. So we, we inshallah, will learn from your experience uh, because this is the first time in Pakistan such an ambitious uh, plan has been undertaken. Apart from that, <clears throat> your health, uh, the health reforms you've taken, uh, they have been, I've been astounded by the, uh, by the coverage by the, uh, the insurance coverage of your underprivileged population who all have access to quality health care, which is probably one of the most important aspects of a civilized society. So we have uh, pledged in Pakistan that we want to create Pakistan on the model of the Medina Riyasat, the first Riyasat built by a prophet, peace be upon him which was a, 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 a state built on compassion, on justice. It was a, a state which uh, probably was the first welfare state in the history of mankind. So this is the basis we want to build, what we say, the near Pakistan, the new Pakistan. And I was very interested to know that you're already on that way. You have already had uh, health care covering most of your population, and especially in the last 15 years, and also you have legal aid here for people who can't have uh, access to justice. Same thing which, which we are going to strive and do in Pakistan. Uh, and then your education reforms, they were very interesting because we want to have, we have three parallel systems of education in Pakistan. 
And what we want is to have one uh, a, a core syllabus which unites our nation. So I had very interesting talks with you about, inshallah, how we're going to improve our education system. But above all, we want to have uh, 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 enhance the relationship, closer relationship with, uh, with Turkey. And uh, the issue about Afghanistan, people of Afghanistan have been suffering for almost over three decades. It's time that uh, the international community, anyone who can help in bringing peace there, uh, Pakistan has already been uh, helping a dialogue between the Taliban and the Americans, but it needs a much stronger effort from all the uh, stakeholders, neighbors, and uh, I look forward to the summit meeting, uh, inshallah, later in Istanbul, in Istanbul, where we hope that uh, uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Turkey will be able to help in this peace process. As I said, a much badly needed peace. Um, uh, you, we have uh, in Pakistan, what we talked about, our problems with our neighbor India. We are trying to have uh, a dialogue, trying to move towards uh, a friendly relationship with India. We are having, we've had a standoff with India where India refuses to talk to Pakistan under the pretext that until Pakistan stops terrorism, India will not talk to us. Uh, it's a bizarre situation where we feel that how can you pro move forward if there are no, there's no dialogue. But the basic problem with Pakistan-India is about Kashmir. Uh, and the problem with Kashmir is that there is now an indigenous movement uh, which is sick of uh, the three decades of um, uh, trying to stop the popular, the democratic, human right aspirations of the people of Kashmir. And the more force is used, the more it alienates the population of Kashmir. And unfortunately, this is blamed on Pakistan by India. Uh, and uh, the human rights abuse going on in Kashmir are just alienating the people. So um, we discussed that. Uh, Pakistan obviously um, would, would want stability because we want economic progress. It doesn't come with st without stability. And stability will only take place when Pakistan and India sit down and resolve the differences. Um, we talked about Syria. Uh, again, people of Syria have suffered a lot. We are praying uh, that uh, uh, peace comes in Syria and the suffering of the people of Syria stops. And we are wishing uh, Turkey all the best in its endeavors which, uh, uh, which are taking place for, for having a peaceful solution there. And of course, uh, trying to defeat ISIS. I can assure you that uh, Pakistan stands with Turkey in defeating ISIS. ISIS has already has emerged in various parts of Afghanistan. Pakistan's border areas, the tribal areas are threatened by ISIS. Uh, but fortunately, we're very lucky that Pakistan army and its intelligence agencies have done a magnificent job of uh, defeating terrorism. terrorism has been vastly reduced in Pakistan, and we hope that uh, uh, with the help of uh, uh, neighbors, uh, uh, neighbors uh, Iran, Afghanistan, uh, we can, and with the help of Turkey, we hope we can uh, uh, eliminate terrorism. And I again thank you, Mr. President. I, uh, this uh, visit has been most enjoyable for us, your hospitality and the talks which we have. And I look forward to when you're going to come to Pakistan. Evet, ben de değerli kardeşime çok çok teşekkür ederim. I would like to thank my brother. Gerçekten bugünkü Today, whether it be the bilateral or interdelegation meetings, were very positive. And after today, the meetings between our ministers and the period after this, the meetings that will be held, God willing, hopefully 2019 will be a year where Pakistan and Turkey will take important steps. I believe in this, whether it be high-level strategic council meetings or the Afghanistan, Pakistan, Turkey, trilateral Istanbul summit, and the steps that we're going to take within this framework are very important to me. And the meeting today, 
We're not going to be able to take questions since they were members of the Pakistan media. I thank every one of you. Have a great day. अनकरा में वजीर अजम इमरान खान की तुर्क सदर रजब तैयरदान के हमर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस जो कि आप मुलाहजा कर रहे थे जिसमें आपको बताएं कि इमरान खान ने यह कहा है कि तालीम के शुबे में तरक्की ने बहुत काम किया है और हम तरक्की के तजुर्बात से इस्ता हासिल करना चाहते हैं खत्े में अम के लिए कश्मीर का मसले का हल होना बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है और हमने इंडिया के साथ दोस्ताना ताल्लुक चाहते हैं लेकिन इंडिया हमेशा से ही कश्मीर के मसले को नज़रअंदाज करता आया है और जब तक मसला कश्मीर हल नहीं होगा खत्े में अम कायम नहीं होगा जीद उनका यह कहना था कि सीरिया में जो इंसानी की खिलाफ वर्जी की जा रही है उसमें हम तुर्की के साथ खड़े हैं और पाकिस्तानी फौज ने इंटेलिजेंस ने पाकिस्तान के अंदर से दहशत गर्दी को खत्म करने में अहम किरदार अदा किया ऐसा कहना था वजीर इमरान खान का